Welcome to Hawk Story Podcast, the show where we uncover strategies and secrets of thriving local businesses and professionals. I am host Renata Rimputte today, and I am lifelong entrepreneur with passion for discovering and support local talents and professionals. In today's episode, we're going to talk to Stefan Spencer that provide excellent EV chargers in industry. So, Stefan, yes. are you ready to speak about? Yes, what would you like to know? Okay, first, uh, yes. I'd like to know what is inspired you to start? Well, um, it's a little bit of a long story and I'll try and keep that short. Um, I was made redundant or redundancy was on the cards for me. And believe it or not, at the Cambridge Business Buzz, when it was at the boathouse, a gentleman approached me and said, if you're made redundant, I'll take you on. Um, let's have a beer. So with that, um, when I was made redundant, I gave him a phone call and I went over to see him and we had a beer. And on the way, I was listening to the radio and I heard an announcement from the government saying that by 2030, there will be no more combustion engines manufactured in the UK. In fact, most of Europe. So um, I thought, here's an opportunity. And that's what inspired me to think there's some, there's a good business opportunity here to start a, an EV charging business. And that's what we discussed at our first meeting. And it's taken all this time really to get to the point where we're ready and we have installed EV chargers already. So, um, yeah, it's great. Oh, wow, excellent. Right. I have a question for yep. you to prepare to ask. I know you, you, you don't know the questions. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had. Yeah. But I'm going to try keep it short and straight. So, can you share an in interesting episode Yes. Uh, when you've been providing uh, EV charges. So something would be interesting and inspiring maybe at the same time? Well, um, you have to realize that uh, most of our business is actually dealing with um, commercial and industry. And so therefore, there's no really common denominator when, it, when you come to an installation. So what we have to do is we have to go out and do a survey of the site first and foremost to make sure that um, whatever we're recommending to our customer um, fits what they fits their needs and also to make it future proofing because all the time cars are being developed uh, and improved their battery storage and everything else are being developed and improved so you need to make sure that whatever you provide the customer is future proofed but um, so there cannot really be one particular story. But let me tell you about uh, one that we installed for uh, um, an insurance broker. Um, he had it installed at home, and um, when we did the installation, it was so far from the house that we had to put in extra cabling to... So each one is different. That's, that's yeah. what I'm trying to get over. There's no real common denominator uh, you can't sort of you can give a price for a charger but you don't know how much is involved in terms of um, what the installation itself will take so yeah each one is very different um, I can't really say that one stands out from another okay uh, the majority of the times uh, what your clients they seeking what is their goal and how you feeling? How you fulfilling that? Well, um, most most people are getting in, uh, unless they're petrol heads, of course, where petrol heads have an, an aversion to um, uh, EV vehicles. Um, uh, most people are looking to either save the planet and reduce their carbon footprint. Um, they're looking to um, save money. A lot of the installations now are being done with solar panels and battery storage as well so um, people can charge their car up for a fraction of what it would cost if you were in a conventional petrol or diesel car okay 
I see. So, so well, not quite a fraction. Um, I mean, um, let's take it might take something like ninety pounds to fill up a car uh, with petrol or diesel, um, mm. with uh, EV chargers, probably less than twenty pounds. So, quite a big saving. Okay, so, so so mainly all your clients they actually completely changing from petrol or diesel. Yep. Or they still keeping some 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 cars. Well, some are keeping their cars as well because um, changing to a, an EV vehicle. Uh, I was in a garage on Monday actually having my car serviced. Okay. And uh, we're looking at for an EV uh, a Kia EV6 about fifty three thousand pounds so they're quite a high value then i'm not saying they're expensive they're quite high value I'm, I'm i would predict that they're probably the cost will come down and one of the things about petrol and diesel cars is that there's quite a glut in the market so they're being sold off a lot cheaper than electric cars okay i see it's very interesting you know and the the idea saving planet i think is everyone uniting in this like united in this uh, um, because the people trying to do something better yeah well the market itself uh, currently there's about um i read somewhere in one of the local in in, in the national press i read somewhere that there's only two in 100 electric cars on the market on on the road physically as as we speak today in in the uk so um, uh, it, it's a, an enormous market, so I, th I think it will take some time for people to adjust. Yeah. And that's why some people are going to keep their cars for a little bit longer. But one piece of advice that I could give is, by the time we come up to 2030, and if you still have um, a diesel or petrol car, I, I believe there will be such a, a, a downturn in the value of those cars there is the residual value will be because there'll be too many in the marketplace that you, you'll probably lose money on your car so it'd be good to get rid of your car before 2030 a, a good bit before 2030 probably by about 2026 okay so i'm not really following the information uh, about the changes and the regulations you probably know this the best mm. so after 2030, do we still have ability uh, to no, drive? Yeah, yeah. You can. You, after 2030, there, there, uh, there's obviously going to. I mean, some of the big um, petrol stations and petrol companies they've got their. You know, there'll still be petrol cars and diesel cars and diesel lorries and vans around um, for them to provide uh, fuel to, but. Um, I can't. I haven't got a crystal ball actually, so I don't really know how uh, the market will pan out after 2030. But the the goal by the government is to have all um, EV chargers or all non all combustible engine cars not manufactured in the UK anymore. Okay, I'm looking for suggestion and advice for businesses and solo entrepreneurs yeah. uh, in in regards. Uh, if they today driving uh, really brown new, even petrol or diesel car, mm -hmm. your detailed advice and suggestions? Well, um, there's a couple of opportunities really. If they're working for a company, like my daughter, she works for Alliance, the insurance company, um, and one of our customers, um, Mark Ling, who uh, works for One Broker, uh, another insurance company, they, they're, they're doing what they call salary sacrifice. So you can sacrifice part of your salary and that makes it very more, in, more incentivized to move to away from combustion engine cars to um, electric vehicles. So that, there's, there's an incentive there. And there's also incentives for businesses um, if they want to start providing their staff or their visitors or whoever, uh, hotels for instance, their guests, um, there's incentives from the government of £350 per um, EV charger, up to a maximum of 40 EV chargers, so, um, which is £14,000. So if, some, if anybody's looking to um, improve their 
if you like, um, outlook on cars and things like that, then they can um, save some money. How are you keeping motivated at your workplace when you're working? Well, there's plenty of motivation, there's plenty of opportunity. So, um, really, uh, we're spoiled for choice because, uh, as I said earlier, there's only two in 100 cars on the road at the moment. So can you imagine by 2030, I don't know how many, might be say 20 in 100 cars, but it might be 30 or 40 cars. And they will all need some method of um, charging their car, whether it be at home or at work. Do you do any mobile uh, EV chargers? No, but it's something that the business will be looking at in the future. Yeah, excellent. Wait, are you have any questions to me? No. Unusual. Um, um, Unusual. <laughs> have you got an EV charge? Have, have you got an e electric vehicle yourself, or are you, you thinking see, of? I'm thinking. Okay. That's right. what I was looking. Is I you have? <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm still looking. Yeah. Um, because I bought my car 2014, so it's quite yeah. a while ago. Yeah. I'm still in love with it, yes. but. Uh, well, I may think maybe you could um, get that car through a salary sacrifice through your business, so it will actually partly pay for what what you're pay, what you're. Um, maybe it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very it's tax efficient. Tax I'd have a word with your accountant if I was you, and, and accountants, any accountants out there, if you've got customers that want um, an EV charger, give us a call and we'll try and help out. Exactly, that is really good information. Mm. That's really good information. So, what we can wish you very best of luck. Thank you. And sh uh, we will definitely share with our viewers, listeners, yeah. about uh, EV chargers. Yes. About Stefan, which is an amazing yeah. entrepreneur. Right. And anyone looking to improve their lifestyle. Yes. Improve, improve their yeah. cars. Yeah. They must in, in, yeah. get in contact with you. Yeah. And as Gemini Web Media. We are looking after businesses, only those who actually have good reputation. So Thank we are assisting businesses only, they are doing their best. So yeah. it's kind of combined power yeah. to make the best. So okay. thank you for everyone no, thank for you. listening no, to thank us. Thank you for the opportunity. And we will share Stefan's website and all relevant yep. information. Okay, and the, we have a brochure. If people want the brochure, it's, it's got all the information in there about uh, approximate range, where how far you can get from an hour charging the car, things like that. So all the details are in the brochure. Uh, can we have PDF that we can add it? Absolutely. Excellent. Thank yeah. you so much for your right, time. You. you have a good day. Thank and you. Everyone listening, please yes. share this information and comment on it. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much.